Why did Walt Disney not like Alice in Wonderland? Well, let's go back to the beginning. You see, in 1933, Walt Disney was trying to figure out how to make Alice in Wonderland into a feature film. He thought about using Mary Pickford as a live action Alice, and then years later, he thought about maybe Ginger Rogers in a cartoon version, and even Aldous Huxley wrote a script at one point. But eventually he dropped the idea of a live action Alice, saying practically everyone who has read and loved the book of necessity sees the tenniel Alice. And no matter how closely we approximate her with a living Alice, I feel the result would be a disappointment. Because they were nervous about angering the Lewis Carroll purist, Walt decided against adding a character called the White Knight as a hero rescuer. Both the story department and the animators really struggled with this project because they weren't enjoying it. When the film was released, it was criticized by both the traditionalists and the people who wanted something new. So Disney lost $1 million on this movie, erasing all of the progress they had made with Cinderella. Though it was a failure at the time, Walt learned a valuable lesson, that you can't create for other people, you just have to stay true to yourself.